to me, he saved my life. And I, I don't care what anybody else thinks. He saved my life. A controversial decision that challenged Darwin's theory of evolution. Babies that are designed and then conceived. The designer babies. Molly, born with rare genetic disorder, could not find a bone marrow match. Amidst backlash, her parents conceived Adam Nash to save their daughter. It's been 20 years since world's first designer baby was born. Created with a prerequisite genetic makeup for a purpose to save another life. For Densley family, they did it twice. Fourth child to save the third from fatal illness and later sixth child to save the fifth. When you're a parent and the mortality of your child comes into question, it's huge. Ethical advocates raise concern over unborn child's consent before their gene is edited. When the child is older and it does hear about why it was conceived, yes, we did have you for, for some of your bone marrow, but it's not a bad thing. I feel like, you know, we can positively say to the child. IVF embryos are genetically edited to create these babies, known as CRISPR technology. Many countries emulated and India's first saviour baby was born 2018. Kavya Solanki was conceived to save her brother Abhijit from a rare blood disorder. But scientists continue to debate over chances of misuse. Creation of an elite class of genes with specific traits. Parents can, in essence, costume their children genetically. You know, are we going to be talking about a Frankenstein 2.0 kind of situation? When we are going about hacking the human code, there would still be dangers. Genetic diagnosis and editing does not have a global legal framework yet. With no regulatory measures, scientists fear that the technology may go out of control. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking once said, Gene-edited superhumans may threaten the rest of humanity. The evolution and genetics profoundly have impacted humanity, who we are today. Forget about enhancing people and we just try to make them healthier using genetic modification. This technology is so new and so powerful that by accident we could make them sicker. Some suggest a ban, while few countries propose promising measures. UK recently passed a reform allowing it to be used for rectifying genetic disorders and treating critically ill children. So far, designer babies have saved many families from legacy of deadly inherited diseases. The technology is here to stay and it's upon us. As Jennifer Doudna, co-founder CRISPR Technology states, it's our responsibility to carefully consider the unintended consequences and intended impacts of a scientific breakthrough.